Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, and I help Shopify sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems, whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. In this video, I will go over the essentials that you need to know as a Shopify seller about tracking inventory. Are you a Shopify seller? Are you confused about tracking inventory in QuickBooks? Let's go over what you need to know. So you probably purchased QuickBooks Online Plus because you saw that in the features, it said that it will track inventory. But you're a Shopify seller. Should you be tracking inventory in QuickBooks Online? And if so, how should you be doing it? Let's take a look. Since you're a Shopify seller, you will be doing things a bit differently in QuickBooks Online. And one of those is tracking inventory in QuickBooks. In order to keep things simple and so that we don't mess up things in QuickBooks, we want to really track the inventory dollar amount in QuickBooks. And that inventory dollar amount that we track in QuickBooks is calculated by taking your inventory quantities, multiplying them by their cost, and then getting an amount of inventory. Now, many of my Shopify sellers ask me about how they need to adjust inventory in QuickBooks and also how they need to track or adjust cost of goods sold in QuickBooks. What you need to know is that inventory and cost of goods sold are sort of like cousins, they're related. That means that if we increase the inventory balance in QuickBooks, then by default, we have to also decrease the cost of goods sold balance in QuickBooks. Or if we increase cost of goods sold in QuickBooks, then we have to decrease inventory in QuickBooks. So what that means really is that if we true up the inventory balance in QuickBooks, then by default, we are also truing up the cost of goods sold balance in QuickBooks. So should you be tracking inventory in QuickBooks at a detail level or tracking inventory in QuickBooks by SKU? Well, in my opinion, you don't need to, at least not when you're starting out. And ideally, as, as I mentioned before, you need to just update the inventory balance in QuickBooks, which makes it a lot simpler. So what are some ways in which you can track your inventory in QuickBooks and what can you use to do that? There are three main ways in which you can do that. One is by using spreadsheets. The other is Shopify inventory reports. And the third one is inventory apps. How often should you update inventory? If you want to keep things really simple, then you could update your inventory only once a year. And this really will satisfy your tax preparer because they'll expect you to update your inventory balance uh, for tax time. So it, while it keeps it simple, maybe it doesn't give you a, a full view into what's going on uh, with your profits uh, throughout the year. But if you want to go this route, you could use a spreadsheet, or you could use the uh, Shopify inventory reports. You could also update your inventory balance monthly, and this is what I recommend. This really gives you a lot of clarity and visibility into your profits, so that when you're looking at your reports, you can see what your income is, what your cost of goods sold is, you can see what you held in inventory every month. So it is a best practice, it is what I recommend. For this method, you could use a spreadsheet, you can use the Shopify inventory reports, or you can use inventory management apps. And by the way, I have already done a couple of different videos. One is talking about um, using a spreadsheet to track your inventory. And I've also done a video showing you how to run the Shopify inventory reports. And we'll link those for you in the description. At some point in your business though, you may outgrow the spreadsheets or perhaps a Shopify inventory doesn't really fit your specific business model. And when that happens, then you need to start looking at inventory management apps. 
By using inventory management apps, you'll be able to track profitability by product. You'll be able to manage your inventory in a multi-channel setting. You'll be able to use uh, purchase orders, order fulfillment. Um, you'll be able to manage assemblies, kits, and units of measure. So when you get to that point the, that you outgrow the more simpler methods of tracking inventory, then it's time to look at inventory management apps. Now, many of my Shopify sellers ask me, which is the best inventory management app? And, and really, there's not a best app. You need to look for the, the app that suits what you're doing, the, the app that really will work with your particular uh, business and your specific needs. But here's a list of the ones that I recommend. SOS Inventory, Zoho Inventory, Ecom Dash, Airplane, Locate, Finale, Sense 7, or Deer Systems. And I will link all of these for you in the description box. I hope that now you have a better understanding of tracking your inventory and what's the best approach for tracking inventory for your Shopify store in QuickBooks. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Are you ready to work with an experienced and reliable Shopify accounting pro? Check the description box to learn more about my services and how we might be able to work together. If this content is helping you, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. Check the description box for all of my free resources, including my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint and the link to join my Facebook community. And let me know in the comments if there are any other topics that, that you'd like me to do in the future. I'm here to help you. I'm Veronica Wasik. I'll see you next time.